Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, the something. Saturday, the, I believe it's the 13th. I think so. <laughs> Thank you. I see some people nodding. So it's Saturday, the 13th. And today is session, the start of session three of our series about managing stress with yoga and Ayurveda. And actually, we're going to get started here with yoga practice in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to make sure to mention that you know, we're, we're talking about a number of different, different topics here. Um, last week, we were talking a lot about the constitution, and I don't know that I made it clear what the connection is between understanding your constitution and managing stress. But generally, if you remember back to the first week, I talked about like the first priority in Ayurveda is to maintain your good health. And the reason we need to maintain our health or kind of optimize our health, our health with little tweaks is so that we're as strong as possible, so that we're thinking clearly, so that our body and our mind are resilient, so that we can handle the stresses that come up. Um, I'm gonna just like give one more detail here and then we'll really get into the practice. But in yoga, there's a lot of emphasis on, well, you know, like if you read the Yoga Sutras book, it tells you at the very beginning that the purpose of yoga is to quiet your mind. Um, it also tells you, I don't know, in chapter three or four, that when we are in a state of yoga, in other words, when we are practicing yoga consistently, then we can perceive clearly. We see reality as it is rather than through the filter of our mind. So um, sometimes they talk about how our mind is like a veil and we're looking through the veil to perceive what's happening in the world. And so just kind of to rewind a tiny bit and, and go back to, you know, when we are in a state of yoga, when we're, when we're practicing yoga consistently, then that veil is kind of removed and we can see reality as it is rather than how our mind thinks it is. Does it make sense? Like, um, you know, sometimes maybe you've had an experience in life where you're like, you get upset about something. Oh, I'm so mad about this thing. And then later you realize, oh, I had some misunderstanding. I was thinking about this in the wrong way. Really, the situation was this other way. And actually, I was the one at fault. I shouldn't be mad at this person. So it's kind of like that, you know, that sometimes we have misunderstandings or misperceptions about something. But when we're practicing yoga consistently, that uh, tendency to have those misunderstandings is reduced. And we can, you know, see reality better and make better decisions and act, you know, do actions in a certain way. And all of that, you know, if you're seeing clearly also has a direct relationship to, um, you know, managing your stress, because if you're seeing things clearly, you know, you're handling things as they need to be handled and not adding unneeded stress, you know, to your life because you've had some misunderstanding. So it kind of goes all around in a circle. But anyway, hopefully that's helpful in some kind of way. All right, let's get started with the asana practice that we're going to work on today. So when you're ready, go ahead and stand up. I think I'm just going to sit here. I'll work on being really dis descriptive so that you don't have to like watch me practice. Sometimes even watching the teacher can be a distraction. So right now, I'll focus on being very clear with my instructions so that you can hear and follow along. Okay, so comfortable standing position. Lengthen your spine. Relax your shoulders. Start to smooth your breathing. Try to make your inhales and exhales approximately equal in length. Okay, let's start some moving now. So currently you're standing, you can even be sitting and your arms are down alongside your body. 
On an inhale, sweep your straight arms out toward the sides and up. Palms face in when you get to the top. Exhale smoothly. The arms move out and down. Very good. Again, inhale, straight arms out and up. Palms face in. Exhale smoothly out and down. Keep going. Go at your pace, in fact. And try to really have your awareness with your own self. Try to coordinate the pace of your movement to the pace of your breath. The breath is the boss. The, the arms are following along. Next time your arms come down, let them stay down. Okay, let's go into some forward folding to loosen up, stretch out the back and the front of the body. So on an inhale, bring your arms forward and up. Give a tiny back bend here. Lift your chest a tiny bit. And then exhale, gently fold only as much as you're comfortable. Rest your hands someplace, relax your neck. Then inhale, walk your hands up your legs. Bring yourself back up. Maybe you stretch your arms overhead and then exhale. The arms move forward and down if you have lifted them up. Let's keep going. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, smoothly fold. Inhale, come up, exhale, arms forward and down. Keep going, please. Do two more. Whenever you finish, you can let your arms rest down. Shake yourself out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of more movements here. So please step your feet wide. We're gonna stretch out the sides of the body. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a modified um, cadence here. So just be aware that way we can all stay coordinated. On an inhale, stretch your arms out toward the sides and pause. Exhale, side bend left, right arm stretches up and pause. Inhale smoothly to the center with lots of control. Pause. Exhale now to your right side. Pause. Inhale, up to the center, pause, exhale, arms come down. Very nice, we're gonna do one more like that. Inhale, arms stretch out, pause. Exhale, left side bend, pause. Inhale, to the center, pause. Exhale, to the right side. Pause, inhale to the center, pause, exhale, arms rest down. Okay, pause here for a minute, keep breathing. Let's check on the current posture. So stand up tall, engage your abs a little bit. So you just have some tone, some structure um, in your like lumbar spine region. Make sure that your chest is just a little bit lifted just so that you're not slouching. And also pay attention to your current head position. 
knowing that with all the screen usage, we are all having a tendency to reach our heads forward. So tuck back a little bit if you can. You can also think about tucking your chin towards your chest. And now that you have established this good posture, we're gonna to try to maintain some of this integrity while we continue through this trikonasana. And I'm gonna change the breathing again. Inhale, stretch your arms out. Exhale, left side bend. Be strong here in your abs. Stay for an inhale. Stay for an exhale. Inhale up to the center, arms stretch out. Exhale, right side bend. Stay for an inhale. Stay for an exhale. Inhale, come up to the center, arms stretch out. Exhale, arms rest down. One more time, inhale, stretch your arms out. Abs are strong. Exhale, left side bend. If it's comfortable, look up toward your right palm. Inhale to the center, arms stretch out. Exhale, right side bend. Abs are still engaged. Maybe you look up toward the left palm. Inhale, up to the center. Exhale, arms rest down. Go ahead and step your feet together. I think I messed up the breathing there, but it's okay. We will survive. <laughs> All right. Let's do, let me see if we're missing anything. We're doing pretty well. Let's do one more thing, which is a little bit stronger. Um, we're going to work on forward fold with spine extension. So when we do this kind of forward fold, we're going to come, we're going to fold, and then we're going to come halfway up. You're going to extend your spine. You can bring your hands right above your knees to do it. And it's really important to activate the muscles in your legs and in your glutes to help support your body and the posture so that you won't hurt your low back. All right, let's do it. On an inhale, bring your arms forward and up, palms face front. Exhale, strengthen your legs while you fold. Then inhale, come halfway up, walk your hands right above your knees, extend your spine, wonderful. Exhale, slide down, fold to your comfort level. Strengthen your legs a whole lot. Inhale, come up, either walking up or stretching your arms overhead. Exhale, arms forward and down. Excellent, let's keep going. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come halfway up, extend your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, strengthen your legs, come up. Exhale, arms move forward and down. Last one, inhale, forward and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, fold. Strengthen your legs. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms forward and down. Very good work. Smooth your breathing. Okay, good. Very good. So next. We're gonna to move to a sitting position. You can sit on the floor if you want, or you can also sit on a chair. We're just gonna do a little bit of sitting work followed by some breathing. So I'm gonna just scoot back here on my chair. <clears throat> okay, let's see, a couple of things we're gonna work on. So just please make sure that you're, you feel very comfortable in your seat so that um, you can easily lengthen your spine. Mm -hmm. And then on an inhale, lift your face and look up. Exhale slowly, lower your chin toward your chest. This is what we're doing. Keep going at your own pace. As you do this, notice what you're feeling in your shoulders, in your back and your neck.
try to please maintain the integrity of the posture we established earlier. So really tall, not rounding the shoulders forward. In other words, trying to bring them slightly back. A little bit of tone in your abdominal muscles. Next time you complete an exhale, then inhale, bring your head back up to neutral. Reestablish your good posture. If you are sitting on a chair, please make sure that you have a very stable, like you've created a very stable foundation. In other words, your feet are a little bit wide and you're sitting forward on your chair. So it's kind of like, um, I don't know, maybe this is a, a confusing visual, but I think about how uh, it's kind of like I have a tripod of support here, like my bottom is sitting on the chair, and then my two feet on the floor are kind of like a tripod, so it's very sturdy and stable. Okay, from here, and your good posture, let's do a little more work with the neck. So very gently, bring your left ear toward your left shoulder. You might immediately start to feel stretching happening on the right side of your neck. So just stay right here, keep breathing. Relax your jaws while you do this. And then inhale, bring your head to the center. And then we're gonna to go to the other side. So right ear toward the right shoulder. Try to keep the shoulders down. If it's really tight, they're gonna automatically try to come up like that. Yeah, so encourage them down. Keep breathing. Okay, inhale back up to the center. Give your neck a little bit of break by rotating side to side. Okay, and now we're gonna combine the previous two movements together. So start by bringing your left ear slightly toward the left shoulder, however far it'll go. Okay, and then we're gonna add nodding to this. So in this tilt position, inhale, lift your face. Exhale, lower your chin toward your collarbones. Keep going at your own pace. It may be necessary to limit your range of motion if this feels like really spicy. Okay, when you're ready, bring your head to the tilt position at stationary, and then on inhale, come up to neutral. Give your neck a break again by turning side to side. Okay, settle back to the center. Now we're gonna do the right side. So right ear toward the right shoulder, find your good tall posture. And then when you're ready, you can add the slow nodding movement. Okay, let your head be still. And then inhale, come back to the center. One more time, um, side to side turning, like twisting with the neck. Okay, settle back to the center. <clears throat> now, let us work on some breathing. You can close your eyes if you want to. Begin to focus on your breathing. We're gonna work on two techniques today for expanding the volume of the breath. Please remember as we move into this that every breathing practice is not going to be your favorite, but you can just try it, see what you think. And uh, if you don't like it, you just say, okay, I tried that, didn't love it. I'm gonna try something else. So the first one that we're gonna work on is counting the duration of the breath. 
So in other words, when you inhale in your mind, you're counting one, two, three, four, then exhale one, two, three, four. At about that pace, your number may be different. Your breath may be shorter or longer than four, but try this technique, see what you think. If you want to, you can add a second element to this technique, and that is pausing. At the end of the inhale and at the end of the exhale, these pauses just mark that point in the cycle of breathing where the direction of breath is changing. It's moving from an inhale to an exhale at a certain point there's nothing happening. It's neither an inhale nor an exhale. It's a pause. And we can mark that with an actual pause. Next time you complete an exhale and pause, return to natural breathing. Next, let's visualize what's happening in the rib cage when we breathe. So begin your smooth and long inhales and exhales again. Make sure you're sitting tall with your shoulders relaxed. And when you inhale, visualize that the lungs are filling with air so much that they expand your rib cage out toward the sides, like 360 degrees, the ribs are expanding. When you exhale, the, lung, the air is coming out from the lungs, traveling out the lungs and out through your nose. And as that happens, the lungs become smaller and the rib cage uh, decreases in size. It contracts toward the midline of your body. So stick with this visualization for a few rounds of breathing. With the inhale, you're expanding. <clears throat> with your exhale, you are contracting. Let's add one more element here. All of us have a diaphragm. The diaphragm is a muscle. It's kind of like a piece of film that um, extends across uh, your whole abdominal region in a horizontal um, orientation. So basically it's like um, the floor of, the, of where the lungs are. It's under the lungs and it's a film that stretches across your whole torso. So when you inhale, yes, your lungs are expanding and contracting the ribs out toward the sides. And also the diaphragm is moving downward, allowing more space for the lungs to take in breath. And then when you exhale, the opposite happens. The diaphragm moves upward, 
to assist the breath out of the lungs and out of the body. So you can think now, you know, all around the chest cavity, what's happening when I inhale? The ribs are expanding, the diaphragm is moving down. I have more capacity to breathe. When I exhale, the ribs are contracting, the diaphragm is moving up. All of this is assisting the exhale to make it effective and efficient. So work with this visualization for two or three rounds of breathing. Whenever you wrap up your current exhale, go ahead and return to natural breathing. Very good work. Take a moment to notice how you're feeling. How's your body, your mind, your breath? And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Very good work.